there's one thing we've learned in recent times, it's that we simply cannot predict what life is going to throw at us. From wild weather events to a worldwide crisis, it's becoming abundantly clear that we should all try to be a little more self-sufficient these days. After all, Mother Nature's been pretty angry with us, so it's high time we call in the reinforcements and supply ourselves with some backup. From natural disasters to unpredictable emergencies at home or on the road, it could take a while for emergency responders to reach you when you're in need. In these survival scenarios, having some essential gear at the ready could make all the difference. There can be a lot to consider when searching for the best emergency survival gear, especially depending on where you live, what natural threats might be expected, and whether you intend to use your kit during outdoor adventures. With the bevy of options in the market, the task of picking the right items to add to your survival cache can be downright confusing. To help you on your quest, we've rounded up some of the best survival gear and go bags essential to help you prepare for all things you can predict. Right now we're going to talk about the GTI collection. First we're going to talk about the CFK4. The steel used on the full collection is SCM-435 and that's chosen intentionally for their strength and hardness properties. It's black electro coat finish, uh, lends itself to protecting the surface better. The materials for the sheath and the scales are nylon and FRN for the scales, fiberglass reinforced nylon. It's drop point and it's skeletonized full tang. So you have that strength running from tip to tip with the pummel end for a striking point. You have a deep choil for a really firm grip. And then the scales are also removable so that you can wrap them with paracord. The smaller size on the CFK4 lends itself to precision work. The CFK7, it's SCM 435 steel. It's chosen for its strength and hardness properties. Black electric coat finish, FRN scales that are removable for paracord wrap. You have a really deep choil for a really stable grip. And then you also have a sheath, which is modular attachment. You can position the clips on both sides for a right or left hand carry. So you can see these can be unscrewed and repositioned on the opposite side. Finally, we have the CFA. It's the modern tactical tomahawk. Originally, hatchets were used for woodwork only, but adapting the design, Justin really was the pioneer of the tactical modern tomahawk where you're adding a lot more utility. So you have a pick on one side, a four inch blade double sided on the other, full tank construction, and then you also have a skeletonized frame for attachment points for a rope or cord. You can wrap the handle with paracord if you remove the scales. The materials are FRN for the handle and nylon for the sheath. And you can see here on the sheath, it's modular attachment. This can go on any platform. So you can go on a vest, backpack, belt. And it also has teeth for retention for a really firm grip. Um, it's almost like a death grip where you can't take it off. And you have a pummel tip for a strike point. This whole collection is meant to cover all end uses, tactical, outdoor, and survival. This is the Schrade ST11 Tough Tool. The ST11 is a tremendously tough multi-tool offering a high-functioning arsenal of tools for performing a plethora of everyday tasks, both on the job and in the field. With components and handle crafted from two CR13 stainless steel, the ST11 is well suited to get you out of a pinch in a hurry. Hand fatigue is reduced by the spring-loaded three-function pliers that reopen after each squeeze and feature a half-needle nose pliers, powerful standard pliers, and hardened wire cutters. The ST11 makes short work of any slicing, cutting, or carving tasks with the razor-sharp three-inch fine-edge clip-point blade a sturdy Phillips head driver to turn even the tightest of screws. Shaping, honing, and light rasping tasks are made easy via the two-inch long fine grit file. Find an integrated bottle opener on the bottom of the fine grit file. 
use the ridged flathead driver to turn larger screws and perform light prying tasks. Fold the flathead driver backwards to reveal a stout pair of heavy-duty shears that can be used for cutting everything from paper to animal hides and even clothing. When the ST11 is not in use, attach it to the inside of a pocket using the pocket clip or carry on the belt via the included black molded polyester belt sheath. Designed for tough everyday use, crafted from premium materials and built for a lifetime, this is the Schrade ST11 Multi-Tool Tough Tool. This is the LAPG Operator Backpack. This is quite possibly one of the most versatile bags that LAPG has to offer. You can see this backpack has quite a few compartments on it. We have two large side pockets and another large pocket at the bottom, which also has some great mesh organization inside it. You also have a large hook and loop section here for patches or a nameplate. It is also covered in molly, which will let you strap on some additional pockets or pouches. On the front, there is a slip pocket and another pocket that is loaded with organization. It has spots for Macs, pens, keys, notebooks, or anything else you can think of. It is fully hydration compatible, up to a 3 liter reservoir, and has two routing on both sides. On the back is an ergonomically designed pad and shoulder strap setup to make the pack comfortable even while loaded with gear. Buckled chest strap and waist strap provide secure support, and additional buckles are included to release the shoulder straps and secure the waist straps to the pack. It also has a sturdy back plate for support that can be removed or adjusted. Additional features include headphone compatibility, dual D-rings, and additional top and bottom buckled tie-downs on both sides of the pack, which also fasten down to stay flush and out of the way. Last but not least, we have the large main pocket, which has buckled adjustable tie-downs for clothing or to hold gear tight, along with more mesh pockets on the opposite side. The LAPG Operator Backpack is made from 600 denier nylon and comes in a variety of colors. We're going to talk a little bit about the Bestia today. Um, if you haven't seen the Bestia yet, I'd be surprised. But this is basically, it's a kukri style knife. Uh, I wouldn't really call this a kukri uh, because the shape is a little different. But basically what you're looking at is it's, it's a chopping tool. So it's a quarter inch thick. It's got a nice high grind on it. Um, but it's thick all the way up to here. And the way that this is canted gives you that kukri type edge, especially for chopping right here. That is uh, what's, what's good about that, I guess, or, or comfortable about that is when you're holding this in that grip to chop with, as you swing, you can see I don't have to break my wrist to chop into what I'm trying to hit. I can, I can keep my wrist nice and solid and this edge is gonna be making contact ahead of my arm. So that's that's what makes kukris so useful as a chopping tool. That's what makes axes so useful as a chopping tool is that the blade is actually in front of your your body. So you don't have to swing as far, you don't have to break your wrist, you don't have to do any of that. You just get a good you get a good chopping motion and a good swing without having to break your wrist like you would with a machete. So this is meant for you know, larger things, maybe harder woods than you would normally use a machete on. Um, what's cool about it is you've got a really long handle. So even if you have humongous hands, you're still gonna find a good grip here. If you need to do some of the finer tasks and kind of use that front part of the blade, you can choke up and use the choil. Um, you know, so there's a, there's a lot of versatility built into this, but first and foremost, it's called the Bestia. Clearly, this is made for chopping. It is made to just demolish wood.